I grew up in a uh, in a tough neighborhood in South LA. So you learn to be tough. You learn to say no a lot. You learn to be your own person and be successful or, or, or really just persevere, survive. Another thing I also remember a lot is with my parents, there being a constant push, a constant reminder, um, especially from my dad, as to the importance of getting an education and um, how he always, you know, in his mind, uh, would always remind us that a good education would take you a very long way and that his primary reason for, for being here in the U.S. with us, with our family, working so hard was so that we could get an education, be able to have a different type of job than, than he had, you know, which his was a, a, a very lab, laborious, um, labor-intensive job. So he didn't want that for us. When I started with the firm, my son was three years old, and uh, I've now been with the firm almost 21 years. And having a good support system at home was crucial. My husband and my mom were extremely supportive of what I was doing, why I was doing this. Um, they understood the importance of it, of it to me, and so that was clearly crucial. From a mentorship perspective, I remember um, starting with the firm and uh, I remember two of my seniors who I still am very good friends with. I can still think about the advice that they gave me, um, how to dress. When you have a meal with a client, where you place your drink, where you place your bread, little things, but they were mentors and of course they, they were also mentors with respect to work um, and they took the time to teach me, to coach me. Subsequent to that point in my career, I had different mentors, mentors that were more senior, so senior managers and partners. They gave me probably more career-driven advice in terms of the types of jobs that I should consider working on, the extracurricular activities that I should consider getting involved in, and really giving me more advice on how to succeed here and be, be one, a successful senior manager, and then subsequently, how to make partner. Till this day, I, I still think of a number of partners that have served as mentors to me. Lou Miramontes, Gabe De La Rosa, Manny Fernandez, they're go-to people for me. What I also think is very important though is having a sponsor and that is, I think, one of the things that up until recently wasn't talked about much because it, it is important that while you have someone giving you career advice and coaching you, you need to have someone who is in some type of power of position who can speak up for you. Um, you should be an advocate for yourself, but there should also be someone advocating for you in order for you to succeed you know, here and in any type of professional career. You know, advocating for yourselves, I think that is one of the really tough things for Latinos. Um, for me, it's been something that I've struggled with. I think that as a Mexican woman, I was raised to work hard, and uh, you were taught that if you kept your head down and you worked hard, there would be recognition. And while I, I I do think that in the long run that's the case. I've also learned over the years that it is important that you speak up for yourself and that you let your performance manager or um, someone else in a leadership position you know, know what you're doing and also let them know what your interests are, where you would like your career um, to progress in from a long-term perspective um, because otherwise you could find yourself doing a lot of the same and it stunts your growth. I've been involved with HLN probably since early 2000s when the Hispanic Latino Network first started up. You know, same reason why I'm still involved now. 
someone looked out for me. There were people who took an interest in my career. I believe that as a Latina woman, I have a responsibility to pay it forward, to help other young professionals know that they can be partner, they can do whatever they want. I mean, to know that I can have an impact on someone's career is extremely fulfilling. It's probably one of the most fulfilling things that I find with this job. You know, when I, when I talk to young professionals, we're in a profession that allows us to make a good living for our families. Um, but this firm, with the Hispanic Latino Network, it allows us to give back, and it allows us to connect with people. Um, it allows us to go back to, to our roots, I think, and, and um, really make an impact on someone's career and in someone's life. And, and I just don't think that, you know, I, I take that very seriously. It's, it's just very fulfilling.